To edit an existing Boolean string, start by selecting Explore in the left-hand navigation bar. From there, you'll want to find and select the search that you want to make edits to. Once you're in the search, navigate to the text box found at the top of your screen. What this search is currently telling us is any mention of running shoe alongside Adidas or Asics or Veja or New Balance is populating below. Let's say we wanted to expand this search even further to include two additional companies that are notorious for creating running shoes, such as Nike and Hoka. We'll start by deleting the closing parenthesis following New Balance and add another OR operator. We'll add Nike as a key term, add OR again, and then add Hoka. Before searching for this update, we want to close out this parentheses again. We'll then select the green search button, and you'll notice that this number has jumped quite a bit from the 500 since we expanded. Now let's say this search still isn't quite where we want it to be, and we want to exclude any mentions of men's shoes or boys' shoes. To exclude, we use our not operator. We'll want to add some parentheses here as well and type in men or boy. The parentheses indicate that any keyword inside of those parentheses are going to be excluded instead of just one or the other. You'll also notice an asterisk following men and boy. This is a tip you can use to avoid typing out any variation of a certain keyword. In this instance, say men or boy plural or men or boy apostrophe s. We don't have to worry about typing those things out because the asterisk indicates all of those are going to be included in this not operator. We'll then select the green search button one more time and we'll watch that total mentions come down a bit since we've excluded some particular keywords. Before exiting any search that you've made edits to, make sure to press save so those edits are reflected in the future when you open up the search again.